What are the satellites saying, Victor? Right now, not a goddamn thing. I lost the signal. Hey, you know what never loses signal? Paper. All right, this route right here should take us straight to the volcano. Might get a little bumpy, though. Let's get the show on the road. So, what are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Avery was the most wanted man in the world, so if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. One of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. We see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. So, Victor, you still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nate that it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot cargo now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Get a good read on them. <laughs> Hard to do that in a chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Hmm. Not much to see here. Well? Ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. <laughs> hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time, kid. Would you look at that? A secret cave behind a waterfall. Gentlemen, we are on a pirate adventure. What are you, seven? So, Victor, how is it that you know King's Bay so well, huh? Well, first time out here was for a swap. In the process of negotiating the crime, we, uh, we hit it off. And I made it a point to come visit every few years. Well, maybe we can preempt any trouble we might get into. Can you still reach out to him? Her. Oh, it's a note. <laughs> it wasn't like that for once. We just saw the world in similar ways. Besides, she moved. Brazil. Been a few years since we've seen each other. Well, maybe time for a visit. Maybe. First, let's wrap this up. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. That's the first time in years I've had two showers in one day. That bridge there is what you would call rickety. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. Okay, just keep it slow. Keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ.
Onward and upward. <laughs> I got mud in my mouth. <laughs> Getting nowhere fast. All right, hang on, guys. You need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. I got it. I got it. Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, look up there on the hill. Got a tower or something. Now we're talking. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the rental guy? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. Going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. How about we go through this whole goddamn thing and never use that winch? Easy! Oh, oh, shit! Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So Nathan, you're thinking Avery, Two, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because... Why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe, uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. And... go! And... no. That was a valiant effort. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. They're definitely ruins from Avery's era. <clears throat> Sam, look. That's Christopher Condon's sigil. He's uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. <sighs> hey, did you know our car came with a winch? No, oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. How to do it? Well, that looked like fun. Steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We clear the hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. 
Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine, you've come here, a well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. Ha <laughs> poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you're gonna pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taking forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with paper, charts, and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a former squid. Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! Sam. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? That's the good news. And that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. No, oh, shit. You do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. How's it? You have that dungus hooked up yet? We're all set up. Just waiting on approval from Nadine to blow it. Good. Place looks empty. I'd like to get it over with and move on. <coughs> How long we posted? Yeah. Still orders come in. Any news from the other sites? Nothing yet. Can we call them and let them know we're ready? Orders are to sit tight, so we sit tight. Explosives nearly blew up everyone in the street. I'd say it's a good thing you're not in charge. What the? <clears throat> Nothing over there, eh? Talk to me, man. Morning, boys. Up there, in that tower. Oh, that kind of hurt. Move it out! Clap it! Blank! Blank! 